replays, the men's cut, video spotlight. The Tri-City Storm would like to welcome you to Storm 360, road trip to Fargo. In the next 20 minutes, you'll get an inside look at the Tri-City Storm on the road. Enjoy the episode. Slow in the bus. Slow in the bus. excited for this road trip. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be cold, but looking to go to Fargo and get two big wins. It's called Heaven is for Real. Pretty solid. Yeah, it's a pretty good book. Pretty good books about this boy who dies and comes back to life, so it's pretty cool. You know, just a little bike race. I'm the best on the team, so. Johnny, Johnny, who's sleeping over there? Just tell the camera who's sleeping. Jason Cotton. It's Jason Cotton. How long is he going to sleep? <laughs> I, I don't know. Trevor McGoy, Christian Fry. Watching a little Walking Dead here. We've run through about four or five episodes already. SEAL Team 6 on Netflix right now. About the raid of Osama. I heard it's pretty interesting. Are you going to go see Zero Dark 30 then? We already saw it, so I'm trying to get both views on how it happened or whatever. Good stuff though. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I'm reading a book on uh, Swedish soccer superstars, Slatan Ibrahimovic. Bones, we look comfy, man. What? I said you look comfy back here. Yeah, it's a nice, nice setup back here. What are you watching? Entourage. Entourage? Yeah. One of your favorite shows? Yeah, about the, probably the fourth time I watched it. Never gets old. Hey, Key, are you reading his biography? Yeah. It's so sick. Yeah. Uh, tapioca is pretty good. What's up with everyone? Everyone's eating a snack bag at once. Yeah. Johan's just cracking his. Yeah. 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 cracking his. It's more of a time thing. You know, everyone just looks back and say snack pack time. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> That's just not true. He just lied straight to your face. I just saw him open it, so I opened it up. After a long nine hour bus ride, finally here in Fargo, set the rink before we got to dinner. It was a long one, but had a lot of fun with the guys. Yeah. <laughs> So we made a stop today uh, after Sioux Falls. Picked up a nice shirt at the truck stop for 25 bucks. It was a good buy, so I'm pretty proud of it. Let's see what we can do with this one. You push that, man. Yeah.
Good morning, Storm fans. Uh, we just got done having some breakfast here in Fargo. I slept very well last night. It's about 10 a.m. We're heading to the rink in a couple minutes now. Uh, for a skate at 11, we'll eat at around 2, 2.30. I'm not sure if it's a 7 or 7.30 start tonight, depending on what, depending on which, that's when we eat. Then uh, we'll just come back to the hotel and chill out for a little, and then we'll leave at around 5, and then head to the rink and play, play Fargo. Looking forward to the game? Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Chiller is probably one of the nicest ranks in the league. It's it's a real new building, um, pretty pretty nice uh, seats and boxes and everything. And they usually pack the house. It gets pretty loud. It's uh, the crowd gets into it. It's a pretty exciting place to play, but at the same time, a pretty tough place to play. Can you go ahead at your birthday? Yeah, really? first. Yeah, we like to use soccer to warm up for our sport and uh, gets the legs going, moving, you know, high high uh, high kicks get the get the groin nice and stretched out and it's just fun. Uh, it's about 5.30 here right now, about to head off to the rink uh, after a nice little lunch at Italian restaurant. Most guys came back, just took a little nap, did what they had to do to get prepared tonight, and uh, about to leave for the rink, so I'll see you later. Pre-game ritual starting up. Lunchable before the game. Lunchable, huh? One or two. I like to like. Ham and cheese. There's an imaginary line. 
that coaches talk about. And then in that imaginary line, on one side is winning, and on the other side is losing. The guy that's doing the, willing to do what nobody else will do will win the bat. The guy that's going to sacrifice for his teammates and for your jersey is the guy that's going to win. Um, coach is, is really good at getting the guys uh, excited and ready to play. You never really know what to expect, um, what he's going to say. And if you're, you're kind of sitting in there thinking you know what's coming and you kind of don't want to hear it, uh, he'll come in and, and kind of touch the soft spot and get us all get us going. And uh, he really has a way with words and has a way of getting uh, the potential out of guys. Night in and night out, what determines most hockey games, it isn't skill, it's heart. It's if you're willing to do what no one else will do for 60 minutes. Not for 7, not for 19, not for 59, for 60 minutes. The team that gets pucks in deep, finish hits, gets to the front of the net, and finds a way will win. If we wanted more, and we get after these guys, we will win tonight. Not because we're more skilled. Because we got more heart. Because we're willing to pay the price for each other. Coach, who gets us going? Hey, right up front, we got Murph, Lita, Slappin. Woo! Yeah! game I don't think we gave our best effort on back checks picking up guys I mean seven goals kind of tells the story of that one all right so today I woke up had a little breakfast uh, had a stretch in slept a lot uh, we had a nice pre-game meal chicken palm one of my favorites now we're getting ready to go Played game two against Fargo today. Uh, you know, we gotta bounce back and have a good one. Poor guy. Don't play. He's like, picked up his balls, like, sorry. <laughs> Slept pretty good last night. Uh, Eli May is pretty big snorer. It's tough to sleep once he falls asleep before you. Looking forward to getting to the arena? Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna play good tonight. Be a big game for us. So. It's a cold day. It's, I have a cold heart. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
Tri-City Storm. You bring 90%, that's not going to get you a win. I mean, two losses where we didn't play terribly, but we didn't play 100% and we got swept. So you can't bring anything less than 100%. Uh, positives, we battled uh, the second game a lot, a lot more than usual. And uh, we were able to get some goals back and start finding a little bit of a rhythm moving into the next weekend. So I'm glad we got that. Second game. We just didn't find a way to win one goal hockey game that we got to be on the flip side of. So that's just finding a way to win. We couldn't find that one. Yeah, Fargo's rink's really nice. Uh, it's it's almost like playing in an NHL atmosphere, it feels like. Um, you know, they pack it pretty much every game, too, and it's loud. So it's, it's a fun place to play. Uh, road trips are a lot of fun. Uh, you spend a lot of time with the guys. Uh, get the chance to travel around the country. The best part about road trips is the meals. Um, usually they get us some pretty good food and uh, we usually have a good time with each other. We want to thank you for watching Storm 360 Road Trip to Fargo as we hope you enjoyed the episode. Always have the inside scoop on Storm Hockey by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and also at stormhockey.com.